Ladies, please. Harmony, Myra, and Dominique. Oh. All right. Let's put Myra in the gold satin. Check. Dominique, let's put in the black brocade. Uh, check. And Harmony, let's put in the wedding gown. Harmony? Yeah. Thank you, ladies. Thank you so very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Harmony in the wedding gown. That's right. Rich, she's a beautiful girl, but that's a big piece. We need height on the runway. She'll do just fine. Rich, you don't put a short model in a piece like that. Now that's elementary, my dear Watson. I know what I'm doing, Grant. Good. Then why don't you clue me in? You'll find out in due time. Rich, the show is in two weeks. If you're making changes, you need to let me know. No, I'm not making any changes. All right, are we in the same game here? You just said. Grant, don't you have any other work to do? Do it. Okay. Is there some reason why I'm out of the loop? Is that your decision? Is it your dad's? Stephanie's? Ridge, you want to let me know? Help me out here? Ah. Oh. Great, thank you, Ray. Oh, mother, you're not gonna believe who this is from. This is from the house of Solerno Milano. Oh, my darling daughter, don't you realize that we are really back in business in the rag trade in a big way, if even the Italianos are acknowledging it? <laughs> to the house of Spectra. Congratulations and best wishes for a successful season. Ah, uh, si, va bene. But please, Sally, not too successful, eh? Oh, Macy, don't you kind of get the feeling that a little obscure fashion house in Southern California just fired a shot heard around the world today? Yep, they are talking about us, no doubt about that. Honey, they are not only talking about us, they are worrying about us. I mean, everybody's worrying about that obscure little fashion house and its big comeback. I mean, why do you think they're all jumping on the bandwagon? Take a look at this, look at this. From Hiller Lagerfeld himself, huh? Let me see that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God, oh, my God. You guys are never gonna guess who's coming behind stage. Who's coming, honey? Only the most respected name in fashion. So, Sal, you better get that. Okay, okay. Okay. Sally Spectra, how very nice to meet you. I'm Elsa Clinch. <laughs> CJ, son, are you in here? Have you seen my boy? No, Mr. Gas. You know who I'm talking about, though, right? Sure. Young fella always carrying around that script, practicing his lines. He's gonna be in a movie or something? A play. Uh, look, if you see him, call my office right away. I'm sure he's around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, he's gotta be, right? But where? You haven't seen a couple of guys, uh, one short and stocky, one real big. It looked like they don't belong. No. Miss Garrison, there's something wrong. I hope not. Hope not. Can I interrupt you for a second? Yes, Michael, what is it? I take it you've seen this? Yes, uh, they called me about this, actually. Hmm, did they call you about this, too? And this? Oh.
the cover of three magazines in one week, Brooke. That's mm. pretty astounding. Mm -hmm. And perfectly timed for our spring showing. <laughs> yeah, I never thought about that. Money cannot buy you this kind of publicity. Yeah, the media can't get enough of you two. And they all seem to have the same question. What's gonna happen? Is there gonna be a wedding or what? Yes, that does seem to be the big question. So, what's the big answer? Wow! Well, that's all I can say is wow. Miss Clinch, come in. Please, come in. This is wonderful. Do call me Elsa. Well, I would be delighted to call you Elsa. This is my secretary, Darla. Hello, Darla. And this Darla. is my daughter, Macy. Hello, Macy. So nice to meet you, Elsa. The reason I stopped by was that I couldn't leave without saying something about the show. Now, listen, Elsa. I got a lot of respect for you, OK? So I want you to level with me. What did you think? Fabulous. Clean, classic lines. But always a touch of innovation that women want. You really have got something here, and you're going to get a tremendous response from it. I mean it. Oh, God, thank you. Thank you so much. Did you hear that, girls? Did you hear what she said? Is this wonderful? Well, I, I said, you know, for the first time in my life, I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. Thank you. Do you think I could see Clark Garrison? Oh, well, of course. Of course you can see Clark Garrison. Now, he'll know exactly what to say. Darla, would you see if you can find Clark? He's probably in his office. Well, he went down in the elevator cell. Oh, he did? Yes, I think he's looking for CJ. Oh, of course, of course. He's riding herd on our 12-year-old son. I'll tell you what, Elsa. Why don't you grab a chair? We'll sit down. We'll have a glass of bubbly. Darla, break out some of the good stuff, OK? <laughs> Come on, let's sit and relax. I'm sure Clark will be here any minute. I'd love to, Sally, but I have another show. But here's my card with a private number on it. Would you ask him to call me? Well, of course, of course, I'll ask him, but, oh, Elsa, he'll be so disappointed. He'd love to talk to you in person. Maybe another time. That would be great. And good luck, Sally. You are going to have a wonderful year. You're my good luck charm, lady. I know I'm going to have a good year now. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> it was much. my pleasure. Oh, listen, Elsa, you're sure I can't tempt you with just one glass of bubbly, huh? Not one. <laughs> Goodbye, girls. Thank you so much. <laughs> Next time. Next okay, time. bye. Thanks bye. again. Thanks oh, again. Wow, Elsa Clay, yes. did you hear what she said? Oh, did I hear what she said? That is the most respected fashion maven fashion critic in the entire international scene, oh. and she loved our show. Oh, Maisie. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, unbelievable, isn't it, Donna? Oh, but where was Clark? Where was Clark? I hate for him to miss a triumph like this. I mean, this was a wonderful opportunity. I hate for him to miss it. Excuse me. Uh. Carl. Carl, what happened to you? I never should have turned my back. God, oh God you are bleeding here. I'll be all right. I just need some ice. Who did this? Those men. The ones you warned me about. Jack Four. I caught him trying to sneak into the showroom, but when I called for backup, one of them gave me whack. You seen my son? No, but you stay here. I'll get you some help, all right? I gotta find my boy. So what's the deal? Why am I being iced out? Oh, you're not being iced out, Grant. Come on. You got plans for a fashion show, and you're not telling me them. Actually, I haven't told anyone. I have something in the works for the end of the showing. It involves a wedding dress. Right. All the more reason to have a tall model wearing it. It's that important. But I don't want a tall model wearing that. Harmony's going to do just fine. In fact, she's not actually going to wear it. What? Look, it's just something personal. It's my own little, own little gig here. Let's just leave it at that. All right. Let me get this straight. 
Go slow for me. You're cooking something up for the biggest fashion show of the year, and you're not telling anyone. That about says it. You can't do that, Ridge. Grant, do me a favor, will you? Don't tell me what I can and can't do. You just get your end of the showing in order, and you let me worry about the rest. OK, buddy, it's your company. But there's going to be a hell of a lot of people watching us that day. Mm. I'm counting on it. OK, I'm done. If there's one thing I've learned, Michael, it's not to live your life in accordance with what the media wants. Well, Brooke, they're just asking questions. Questions that Richard and I have answered for years. We're used to this. Well, the road is clear now. You know, Taylor's gone, and, and you and Ridge are in your prime. The world wants to know what's going to happen. I don't think that's unreasonable. Do you? <laughs> Well, I don't even know what's going to happen. How can I possibly tell the world? Well, you know what you want to happen, don't you? Of course I do. Now, why don't you and I get back to work and let the journalists ask the questions? That's right. The minute you find Mr. Garrison, tell him I'm in my office and I need to see him right away. Oh, never mind. He just walked in. Thanks anyway. Bye. Where have you been? I'm looking for CJ. CJ? Well, if I know our son, the actor, he is probably off in a corner somewhere having someone hold the script while he recites his lines. The class plays next week. He would have told us if he left the building, right? Well, of course he would. Maybe he mentioned something to somebody about where he was going to be hanging out, and they weren't listening. You know, we've been awfully busy around here today. And speaking of that, do you know who came backstage? Who? The one and only Elsa Clinch. Fashion reporter, right? Yeah. The fashion reporter. She oh. came to our showing, Clark, and she absolutely loved the collection. Yeah, good. I got a great good. idea. Listen, she may still be in the building talking to the press or out in the parking lot. I'll see if I can find her. She especially wants to talk to you. So you stay right there, yeah. okay? Okay, okay. Where are you, CJ? Uh, you wanted this? What is it? It's the order of the show. Thanks. Anything else? Uh, no. No. Wait. What? Well, this must be a mistake. It says here that Harmony is modeling the wedding gown. Right. She's not tall enough, right? She's about my size and my build. Why would Ridge be fitting her for the wedding gown? I don't know. It's like he's doing it. Oh, my God. That's what he's doing. What? He's not fitting the gown for Harmony. He's fitting it for you. For me? Of course. He said it was personal. He wanted the whole world to see it. Grant, what are you talking about? I'm talking about a marriage proposal, Brooke. Ridge is going to propose to you on the day of the Forrester fashion show. Garrison. Celebrating pretty boy. Jack, is that you? You sound nervous, anxious. Anything wrong? My boy, my son. You don't have him, do you? You mean the little actor? You know, now that you mention it, 
Uh, he is around here somewhere. Oh, God. What do you want with him? Jack, I want him back here. I warned you, Garrison. Even offered you 15 million. All you had to do was sabotage the Spectre collection. You were there, the dresses were cut, and then you had to change your conscience. Well, Clark, do you know what that change of conscience is going to cost you very dearly? Jack, take me. Take me instead. I'll turn myself over to you. How gallant. But no, I don't think so. You gave up $15 million because of this kid. He must mean something to you. Jack, please, don't do this. It's already done, my friend. Looks like your son ain't gonna be the next Cary Grant, after all. <laughs> More like the next Joey Sherman. He dies, Clark. going to propose to me? Well, it's got to be what he's doing. Are you out of your mind? Okay, let's look at what he's doing. First, he says he wants the gown fitted for Harmony. She's exactly your size. Then he tells me she won't even be wearing it. I don't get it. Somehow, you're going to be wearing that wedding gown, Brooke. I am, huh? Yes, I think Ridge is going to propose to you at the end of the runway at that fashion show. No, he would never do that. Oh, yes, he would. And he will. What are you going to do about it? What am I going to do? Well, are you ready to be proposed to in front of the lights, cameras, the entire fashion world? It'll probably end up on the front page of every newspaper in this country. Yes, it probably will. You don't want to be put on the spot like that. How are you going to back out? I mean, don't you see? Reach is putting you in an impossible position. You've got to stop him. You know what? I will. Grant, no, wait. What makes you think I don't want to be proposed to by Ridge? You're talking to me, sweetheart. Remember, I know about your feelings. You need time to sort them out. I've waited for years for Ridge to do something like this. Until you met me, and there's been a change, and don't deny it. Oh, Grant, you're a friend, okay? You're, you're a very dear friend. And you helped me a lot, but... I'm more than a friend. No! <laughs> Look, Brooke, I know it's frightening. You're used to being attached to this guy. The fact of facing the future without him, I know how that must feel. But you're a strong woman, you'll adjust. Grant, will you stop? I love Ridge, okay? I love him. And you also love me. I told you, you are a very good friend. And you were there when I was very vulnerable. You were there and we got carried away, but it was just a kiss. Why are you making such a big deal out of this? Because it was more than that. It wasn't some one night stand. Our relationship has evolved into something incredibly special. And we've become close. I mean, when I think of our potential, when we kissed, you felt it, and we kissed more than once. Oh, Grant, you've got to forget about that. It's over. It never should have happened. Then why won't you look me in the eye when you say those things? I'll tell you why, because you know I'm right. It makes you nervous. It scares you. It makes you defensive. Oh, Grant, stop it. Fine. Then you listen to me as a friend. If you don't stop Ridge, you're going to be standing at the end of some catwalk, staring into a million cameras, telling the world, yes, I'm going to marry this man. And then what are you going to do? You can't back out. He's squeezing you, Brooke. He's making you an offer you can't refuse. And it doesn't matter what you want. It doesn't matter to him. Otherwise, he wouldn't be doing it. Ridge is determined to make you his wife. And this is the only way that he thinks he can make it happen. As a friend, don't do it. Ridge is not like any man I know. He has his own way, his own style. He is not forcing my hand. In fact, he's probably doing it to do something wild and romantic and fun. That's what Ridge is about. That's why he's so incredible. That is why I love him. And I have loved him since high school. 
And if he is going to propose to me at the biggest fashion show of the year in front of the whole world, then that just proves to me that he's completely devoted to me with all of his soul. And you better believe that I am 